So the first thing that I'm doing is taking um, just like a jacket that I like the fit of and I'm going to use this as my guide to create my pattern and yeah let's go ahead and get started creating the pattern. I'm first cutting my pattern out on a piece of paper. Make sure y'all leave seam allowance please. You guys want to make sure you leave lots of seam allowance, like more than an inch because this jacket is going to be stuffed with filling and once it's stuffed it's like shrinks so you want to make it longer than you want it and you want to make it wider than you want it because we need as much room as possible. Even if you cut it wider then like it don't even have to be an exact inch, I would do more than an inch. Leave seam allowance all the way around. For the newbies out there, what I'm doing is just cutting around like my jacket. This is going to be my pattern and then y'all going to see like exactly how I get all the other shapes like the arm sleeves and then the collar and everything. But for now, I'm just cutting around the full jacket and I'm excluding the sleeve part and then I'm going to exclude that collar part. Like it's going to be almost like a dip where the neck part is. You guys will see and it'll make more sense like as we go on but just notate that like this is what we're doing okay I think I did it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just fold this in half because I want to make sure that that it look right like that's like lined up perfectly on each side because then these technically are going to be our front panels yay us Okay, you guys, so I'm laying out my fabric and I'm going to put my pattern on my fabric. My pattern is um, folded in half and my fabric is as well, so it's doubled. So once I cut out this pattern, I'm going to open it up and then I'll have one back piece. front pieces so and I got this fabric doubled and it's not on a fold if you know what I mean like I cut this right here on it was already folded so it created one piece one back piece but since this other part is not folded it's gonna create two solid pieces for our front pieces front pieces I actually think I'm gonna like curve uh, no I'm gonna leave it alone because I don't want to mess it up so we got our two front pieces like that so now I'm gonna do the same thing on our silky fabric and this is the fabric that's going to be going on the inside of it for every piece that we cut on our Sherpa like fluffy fabric 
that we need to cut the same exact piece for our silky fabric because the silky fabric is what's going to be inside of our, our jacket. I'm gonna leave the link to this like rotary cutter. I think that's what it's called, but it's so easy. Like when you cut with scissors, you fray things. This thing is magnificent, y'all. I'm now cutting out the sleeve, you guys. I'm not actually creating like a pattern for this. I'm just like going right off of this sleeve that's on this jacket. Make sure you guys leave seam allowance for every piece that you create, like more than enough because you know, you just want to make sure it fits. It doesn't have to be too much, but make sure it's more than one inch, you guys. This piece that we're creating now is the collar piece. I made mine wider than I, you know, like the jacket that I have is because I wanted it to be like a bigger collar, like wide and stand taller. You know what I mean? You guys. So this piece of, um, this is a sleeve. And as you can see, like I lined up the lining with the sleeve and I'm just like pinning the lining in there because what we're going to do is sew, sew it all together. Like the lining in the actual like Sherpa type of fabric so that we have just one piece and that's going to be not only for the the sleeve but that's going to be for the collar that's going to be for the front piece the back piece but what you guys have to do is leave one side of it open because we're going to need to stuff it So now what I'm going to be doing is creating like those pockets for us to actually stuff you guys. So what I'm doing is measuring, I believe I did like three or four inches and then I drew a line. Make sure it's straight because you're going to sew along that line. So that's what I'm going to keep doing like on each piece from the bottom all the way to the top. And I started at the bottom of like, you know, at the bottom of the jacket or at the bottom of each piece. I um, create a three inch or four inch like line gap then draw a line and yeah Okay, you guys so we have all of our spots marked this is on one of the sleeves so I'm gonna sew along the these lines that I created so that I could stuff it before we close the jacket um, this is the collar um, I'm going to sew the lines in the one of the front panels sew the line and lines in the other front panel so that we can stuff those I'll show y'all when we stuff them and then here's the back panel lines that I'm going to have to sew and then we're going to stuff those So as you guys can see, I sold the lines that I created for, you know, our puffer look and I also sold along the top, 
down the side and down the bottom and I left this other side open so that we can put our stuffing in. Once we have our stuffing in, that's when we'll be able to sew that one line down like that, that, that side to close it. Um, also, we're not going to put that much stuffing in. Like, Put enough, but don't put too much because it, it's going to be hard to like sew and fold. So put enough to where it's like, you know, it looks good. And I did that to the back piece. I'm also going to do that to the front piece. And I'm going to do that to the arm sleeves. So make sure you sew along like the lines, sew around it, and leave a space so that you can stuff them on each piece. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to show you how we're going to sew the collar. I made it big because I'm going to need seam allowance. So on the back, I just have my um, my silk. And I'm actually going to sew along one side. And then I'm going to undo this and flip it. If, if as, you, as you can see, I have two layers of the Sherpa type of fabric. I'm not gonna stuff this, I just use this, these two layers. But I just want to have a nice seamless edge at the top of our, um, at the top of our collar. So I'm about to show y'all how I'm gonna do this. And now what I'm going to do is take my silk and I'm going to flip it over. That way you see how that edge is nice and we have a nice edge at the top. So I'm going to flip that over and then I'm just going to go ahead and um, sew that close it, you know. So we got the back and we got the two, the two um, front panels. I sewed them together here, like up here and up here where they would meet and so now if you flip it over you got yourself a jacket um if you could see there's like these panels down here i didn't stuff yet because i'm still trying to figure out like how long i want it to be like i don't know if you know what i mean but like um i wanted it to be cropped so i need to just make sure it's gonna look right so that i could um see if i want to crop it there or if i wanted to stuff it i hope that made sense but this looks so much better than what I had originally made, y'all. Like, what I originally made was obviously going to be way too small. But I can see now, uh -huh. my girl's going to be. <laughs> so here we have a full sleeve. Um, it's going to focus here shortly. Focus, okay. Here we have a full sleeve. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sew our sleeve shut. So I'm going to flip it with the right sides touching. And by right, I mean the side we want to show. We're going to have our sleeves touch the furry side. And then we're going to sew. First, you're going to have to pin it. But you're going to pin it along the sides, the side and then sew it on up and once we're done sewing we're gonna flip it inside out so that we could attach it to our jacket
you guys so now we have our two sleeves um yeah i had added extra length on the end um i didn't really show that on in the tutorial i just kind of made another cuff and just sewn it on it was extremely difficult it wasn't that hard it's just working with puffy fabric it's not very easy but yes yeah, so we got our two sleeves now we need to start assembling the jacket so if you remember we have this piece right which is the jacket what we're going to do is flip it inside out like this like that so that we can go ahead and close it so we're just going to sew on th this seam but make sure you leave that armhole open okay and the same with this side these two straight lines going to sew together and you're going to leave the armhole open so we can put our sleeves in there okay so as you can see this is all the inside of the jacket i sewn there sewn there now if i flip this bad boy outside we've got ourselves a jacket if it want to focus come on focus there we go we got a jacket we just gotta sew our sleeves in and sew, sew our collar on. I'm gonna try the jacket on. Oh yeah, it's gonna be warm. We ain't got the sleeves on just yet, but <clears throat> now on this bottom one, I didn't stuff it because I thought I, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna make this cropped. So if anything, I might just be cutting there or like maybe adding some sort of elastic band i don't know um i don't know we'll see but this is what we're working with so far okay so we got our jacket here just like so we got our sleeve which we want to be attached here so what we're going to do is insert this through this hole on the inside of the jacket and as you can see here now we flip that inside out like that and we're able to pin everything up so line the top with the top get them pins together make sure you got your pins I don't know if I said this but if you this your first sewing project I would choose something else this girl this, this is slightly a lot of work so we're just gonna pin it and then I'm gonna pin it at the bottom before I start pinning it around because at least we want these two spots to, to line up. So now we're able to just start to sew it, not sew, but pin it around. You try your personal best to make sure it's perfect. Like by perfect, I mean make sure you can just try to line everything up best as best as possible. Like this. And it just makes the job so much easier. We getting somewhere, y'all. We getting somewhere. Girl, sewing this this big fabric together, you know, joke. This type of fabric. Girl, you want you need an industrial sewing machine, which I don't really have one, but we gonna make this work. So we got it all like together. Now I'm gonna flip it out so you see you see what it's gonna look like when we get done sewing. But you see this little hole right here? Make sure everything is like snatched in there. So you see? I mean, we gonna have ourselves a nice little jacket this dark spot my fabric got dark like dark somewhere somehow so yeah 
but just make sure everything is lined up and pinned up correctly because if it is then you're gonna have yourself a nice jacket We sewed them on, sewed this side on, so now we're about to go ahead and turn it inside out. It's so puffy, y'all. I'm so glad I ain't put no more puff in it. And then you always want to check around the line and make sure you didn't miss no spots. Oh, I missed a couple spots on this side. You see, I'm gonna have to go back in and sew that. For those of you who do want a collar, all you're gonna do is just take your collar, girl, this big old collar of mine, and you're gonna line it up just like this. Like with the, the fluffy side, the good side touching the good, good side. You're going to line it up along the edges. It's super easy. So once you line up your collar, you're gonna go ahead and sew along this line that you lined up. And once you sew, you're gonna open it. Hold on, wait, let me show you what it's gonna look like when it's all sewn up and opened. Once you get done sewing, there you're gonna have like your collar, you see? So make your collar to your liking. Remember I said I had left extra space at the bottom because I, um, I didn't know if I was going to add more batting or make it shorter. Well, I decided to make it shorter. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and fold it like that. And I'm just going to sew along that line. That way it's, it's like, like this. So you guys, this is the final jacket. I know I didn't show adding a zipper because I didn't add a zipper to this jacket, but I'm gonna link some video down below that's gonna show you exactly how to add the zipper to your jacket. But um, you guys, I love this project. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments and make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, period. Get into me. I say yes, ma'am. Get into it. So look. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I brought you as far as I could. The zipper is going to be linked down in the description box. And I'll see you guys on the next video. 